Diagram below shows the straight line y equal to x plus 4. This is a straight line here. Intersecting the curve y equal to x minus 2 square at the point A, B. So this is the intersection point, point A and point B. Part A, find the value of k. So where is the value of k? This is the value of k. k is actually the x coordinate for point B. And point B is the intersection point of this curve here with the straight line y equal to x plus 4. So therefore, we have to find the intersection point that is point B. To find intersection point, we have to solve simultaneous equation. The first equation is the straight line y equal to x plus 4 for the first equation. The second equation is a curve y equal to x minus 2 square. Now substitution equation 1 into equation 2, you have x plus 4 equal to x minus 2 square. Expand this, you have x square minus 4x plus 4. Now bring all the term one side, you have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Bring your x over, become negative x. Bring the 4 over, become negative 4. This equal to 0. You have x squared minus 5x equal to 0. Factorize your x, you have x multiplied with x minus 5 equal to 0. x equal to 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 5. So x equal to 0 should be this point here. So k should be equal to 5. Now we move on to part B, that is to find the area of the shaded region P. So this is the shaded region P here. So how to find this shaded region P? So you can see here, O, A, B and this point here is actually a trapezium. To find the area of shaded region P here, you can use the area of trapezium minus the area here. This area is given by integration 0 to k, where your k is 5, y dx. So to find area of P, this equal to area of the trapezium. Remember? Trapezium formula is half A plus B times height minus integration 0 to 5 Y dx. So this equal to half. What is A and B? And height. The height will be here. This is the height of the trapezium. Which is equal to 5 because your K equal to 5. The A will be the length here and B will be the length here. So to find the length here, we have to know the coordinate A. So we know that this straight line is y equal to x plus 4. At y axis, x equal to 0. So y equal to 4. So the value for A will be 4. The value for the length here, we have to find the coordinate B. We know that the x coordinate equal to 5. Therefore, your y equal to 5 plus 4, which is equal to 9. So B equal to 9 and the height equal to Five. So this is the area for the trapezium minus integration 0 to 5 y dx. So now we are looking at the curve. This is the curve. The equation for the curve will be x minus 2 square dx. This equal to 32.5. Integrate this, which you have x minus 2 power 3 over 3 0 to 5. Continue, we have 32.5 minus, now you substitute 5 into the equation, you have 5 minus 2, which is 3 power 3 over 3 minus, substitute 0 into the equation, 0 minus 2, you have negative 2 power 3 over 3. Simplify further, you have 32.5 minus, 3 power 3, 27 divided by 3, you have 9 minus negative 2 power 3, you have negative 8 over 3. This equal to 32.5 minus 35 over 3. So the answer for the area of shaded region P equal to 20.83 unit square.
Now we move on to part C. We have to find the volume generated in terms of pi when the shaded region Q, this is the shaded region Q here, is revolved 360 degrees about the x axis. So we are looking at this shaded region here. So this region is revolved 360 about the x axis. So you will have a volume like that. So to find this volume, remember, if the region revolved about the x axis, the volume equal to pi y squared dx. So for this shaded region, x star from 0 to this point, this point is when the curve intersects the x axis. So you have y equal to x minus 2 squared the curve when intersect the x axis, y equal to 0. So you have x minus 2 squared equal to 0 x minus 2 equals 0, x equal to 2. So this point here is x equal to 2. So your volume is integration 0 to 2 pi y squared dx. Next, we have to change y squared in terms of x. So what is your y squared? Your y is x minus 2 squared. Therefore, your y squared is x minus 2 power 4 dx. You can see here this is your y. If you square your y, you have to square your x minus 2 square. Therefore, it becomes x minus 2 power 4. Now, take out your pi. You integrate your x minus 2 power 4 become x minus 2 power 5 over 5, 0 to 2. Now, we can substitute 2 into the equation. 2 minus 2 is 0. Minus, now substitute 0 into the equation. 0 minus 2, you have negative 2. Power 5, which is negative 32 over 5. Therefore, the volume equal to 32 over 5 pi unit power 3.